Hello, everyone. Well, Marab, it's been 11 months since we've seen you, man. I guess, how does it feel to be back on a, on a big fight week and a, and a big fight for you personally? Uh, feels good to be back. Uh, I was fine before uh, I was just waiting right upon it, but after I'll just fight, I was boring and uh, I was missing fight, but now I'm finally here. What's been your focus during the 11 months away? Because I think you knew you were going to get a top level opponent whenever it was. So what have you been focused on? I was just training and get, get better. And uh, I went to Spain training with Ilya Topuria. Yeah, that was a good trip. I had fun there. And after that, I went to, for New Year uh, in my country. But I get COVID there. I had to <laughs> uh, stay quarantined at home and keep a mask on. And I was. And after that, uh, Aljo has a huge fight, and I was just training with him. And uh, um, just I know. I wasn't rushing because I know UFC has to give me big name or somebody good fighter, tough, tough fighter, and then I know well, it won't be short notice, and I know I have a time. I was waiting, 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 and then it's, uh, it takes 10 months, but now we are here. And you did get a big name, a legend of the sport in Jose Aldo. I'm just curious if there's a a different feel when it's somebody that obviously has accomplished as much as he has? Uh, nothing uh, different feeling right now, but uh, when UFC called me and gave me this fight, I was shocked because I was ready for everyone, but not for Jose Aldo. Like, I mean, I was thinking everybody else, but not Jose Aldo, because uh, I was thinking I wasn't big enough, but I guess I am. And then. <laughs> And if he take fight with me, it means a lot. Nice. What do you think of his skills? Because we think of him as a striker, but he's got great takedown defense as well. Um, but is it a, a good enough takedown defense to, to fight you? Yeah, we will find out now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has a good uh, wrestling defend. Uh, he he fight T, um, Frankie Edgar two times. and But I think I can still take him down. And... Um, uh, if not, then I'm gonna keep uh, keep throw pressure and fight hard. And uh, but I believe I will take him down. Nice. You've had this nice win streak, but you've been kind of under the radar a little bit. Do you feel like this is the moment that you beat a guy like Aldo? Now everybody's saying your name along with the the top names of the division. Yes, for sure. Uh, yeah, win against him uh, it will be uh, huge for me. And. Uh, uh, like I always feel love and support from the people and fans, uh, but uh, and now I feel uh, respect from UFC too, and uh, I know this is huge for me. Nice. Last thing for me, uh, have you and, and Al Jermaine started having the conversation yet about what <laughs> happens? Because I know before it was like, well, maybe someday, but it's pretty close now. Have y'all had those conversations? Uh, no, no, we don't have this conversation. We're still like uh, same same page that we're not fighting to each other. And uh, first I have to win this fight. Aljo has to defend his belt. I know he's going to do it. And uh, we will talk after. Uh, but we're not gonna. Fight. We will find out something. We will. We will be fine. We are. We are good friends. We are training partners. He's helping me. He's here with me. After I will fight, I will go help him. He has a fight coming up, and uh, his fight tra training camp will start. And um, we've been helping each other. And we are good teammates, good friends. Uh, we are neighbors, and like, <laughs> like so we can go on and on. Right here. Yeah. You, you had mentioned that Jose Aldo's like, uh, strong takedown defense in his two fights against Frankie, but he's also fought guys like Chad Mendes, who are obviously high-level wrestlers. So how would you compare your style of wrestling in MMA to his past opponents? Um, my background is judo. It's not wrestling, and but I've been training with uh, good uh, wrestlers like, like Aljama Sterling. And take him down is not easy. And uh, I have to figure out all different angles and timing to take people down. And I think I have that. You know, I have a good timing, and uh, I can take people down from different angle. 
and the MMA is different. Um, and uh, we will see, uh, we will find out uh, on Saturday. And he's also a black belt in jiu-jitsu, but we don't really get to see it much when he's fighting because he's such a high-level striker. So when you're preparing for someone like Jose Aldo, do you still have to have that in the back of your mind, or is it he's so known for his striking that this is what I need to focus on? Yeah, actually, that's all I need to focus on uh, for striking. And um, uh, um, and uh, just uh, uh, take him to like right position. Like uh, I want to be on top dominate position and um, uh, yeah, I mean he's a, he's amazing fighter everywhere. Like uh, like even we all see he, how he beat Chito Vera. He take his back and control from last round and um, yeah, if he needs he can use it. But um, yeah, I'm ready for everything. You know. And then you just mentioned uh, Chito Vera. What was your reaction to his big win over Dominic Cruz last week? Uh, uh, I mean, he won good for him, but a little bit heartbroken because I saw I, Dominic Cruz knocked down and broken nose. That was a little shocked for me, and uh, we don't want to see legend like this. And he was doing very, very well. He was, I think, winning fight, and um, but the, the the dangerous kick happened, and uh, yeah, just it is his sport. Um, good for Chito, bad for Dominic. So. And there's a couple other big bantamweight fights coming up. We've got Corey Sanhagen and Song Yadong, and then, of course, Sean O'Malley's fighting Peter Yan. How do you see those two fights playing out? I think uh, uh, Sanhagen going to win this fight, and um, um, Sugar Sean O'Malley and Peter Yan, I don't care. I don't care. You know, they both suck. <laughs> Murab, back here to your right. Yeah. We know that you put together a high pace. Uh, do you feel like you've had to prepare to win this fight on the feet and to prepare for Jose to be able to defend the takedowns? I think yes. Um, it's going to be hard. <laughs> I'd rather take him down and stay at up and win uh, uh, easy this way because it's easy to judge for you guys for judges you know you know everybody knows that my first uh, like uh, fight my first fight UFC like judges um, take from me and uh, even I was sick and I wasn't uh, feeling good uh, I was still fighting hard but and then uh, that's why after this I make sure I take people down and uh, it's easy to score and you see I'm winning, I'm on top, I'm, I'm in dominant position and just, yeah, just boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and with talk of a title opportunity being possible here in the near future, does it feel like doing and getting a finish in a spectacular fashion also needs to be prevalent here? Say again. Uh, that getting a finish would be very important towards getting you a title shot? Uh, listen, I, I want to win against legend Jose Aldo. I don't care how I can win, you know. The win against him, that makes me, it's, it's already huge for me, and this is big win. Every win UFC is big, but a win against Jose Aldo means a lot for me, and this is huge and like life-changing for me. And uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, Marab. Um, hey. I just had a question for you about uh, Nazim Sadikov last night. Obviously, he got the, the contract on Dana White's Contender Series. Aljo was there. I could hear him going nuts in the crowd. Yeah. I just wanted to hear your thoughts on it as well. Yeah, of course. He's our teammate, and uh, we are small, but like a close team, and we're all happy to each other. We're all training to each other, to helping to each other. And yeah, Aljo was there. I saw on TV and I, I heard his voice and he was coaching from the side and Nazim and of course I'm happy for him, he has a huge knockdown, he's talented and um, we was watching uh, uh, on the phone yesterday when we got here and uh, I'm just happy for him and uh, best of luck. Thank you guys. Uh, I want to say thank you for my sponsors, GA Logistics, Santa Georgia, 
Thank you guys so much.